Hello there folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel, a place where I discuss on different topics and today I'm gonna make a short uh, video on how to create um, a text box for your RPG Maker MV or MZ using JavaScript and well more like the scripts, uh, the script functions in the game and I'm gonna use MZ because my MV projects are big and they take a long while to simply load so um, this is simply not gonna be um, a long video I don't want to stay a long time to um, you know load uh, and test something okay uh, so this works the same for MV and uh, MZ versions okay so in order to create a text box you need to simply create an event I already have a few ones in here and well you go to the you double click in here in contents or uh, you press enter it's the same thing uh, show text and you write certain things in here okay when you write certain things in here you have a certain space allocated usually from the beginning till almost in here note that in some cases the resolution of the screen might make the text fall out of this a bit when you use the preview you can see exactly how your text aligns okay uh, when you put a picture of an uh, actor okay you see that the space is smaller in a way and you actually have much less space because the picture also takes some uh, space now if you want to do this in terms of script okay uh, probably you should do a text box at first because when you write the script uh, the text that you have here you don't have any means of uh, checking whether it fits on your um, on uh, a single line or not because if it doesn't well it's gonna be a bit of a fuss to actually change it why well let's actually find out so in order to create a simple text box with a message okay all you have to do is write game message dot add okay and in here every message that you want basically becomes a line in your text box okay so you can simply say hello and well that's basically it okay let's actually save okay play and you will see that basically that's that's gonna be it all right let's actually check uh, don't mind that that's another event so when you press this we have hello and that's basically it okay that's just a text box now if you want to um, change different settings okay you can actually do that okay but preferably and I mean in the same text box and um, before this okay before the line one can say uh, game message dot uh, set background okay let's say one okay now let's actually save this and uh, let's actually go on another map in here which has uh, less events okay and let's actually save this okay Let's enter this one and let's actually use just the um, console in here okay don't mind these errors they are not necessarily important so now you have hello and the background is somewhat translucent okay when you use scripts on text boxes to create some first of all make sure that the previous one is simply deleted okay because uh, you cannot have another text box when one is already in here unless you're using some kind of a plugin okay so let's actually use a set background zero for example and let's see how things actually look like okay and you see it looks you know a bit uh, different okay so it doesn't matter where that actually is okay so first option this one zero is the option that says window okay when you use one for example you have the dim version okay and then when you use two you have 
the transparent one okay the transparent version now what if we also want to change you know the uh, position okay let's actually so press shift and enter to make a new space without press you know if you press enter it's gonna compile your result instead so let's actually see we have a game message okay all right it's written correctly game message dot set position type okay now when we have game message dot set position type again it accepts one single parameter which it actually says and again you have 0 1 and 2 if i remember correctly okay uh, i don't remember which one's which so actually let's see i think 0 is down oh no 0 is up well it kind of makes sense because it's going to be 0 1 and 2 but that's actually let's test them out and see wait let's make this vanish so one in the middle and well two and this one is below okay now knowing this okay you can simply play with these uh, parameters here zero one one or two and well you you will gain different results okay so what if you want to also add an actor well if you want to add an actor it, have to pay a bit more attention okay so let's see you have game message dot set face image okay and in here we have well mz actually tells you which the parameters are which mv wouldn't and then you have uh in here you have two parameters okay so you have the first one is face name now the face name is actually a um string okay so the string means you have to take this name okay um, let's say actor one okay actor one okay let's copy this one and say um, oh wait all right um, actor one okay let's actually take this one so you have to put the name of the file okay without basically the name that you see here without the extension and the next parameter here is face index now the face index means the position that it has in here so what you see here is basically a collection of faces it's called an array and well this collection starts with the counting from zero just as you've seen in the part in here okay zero okay it's not one two three it's zero one two so this one is phase zero zero phase one phase two three four five six and seven so if we want this phase we will have to state in here phase number seven okay and now um, we're also gonna copy these little lines uh, make sure that the there is no text box already in here okay so let's actually do this and guess what we have hello uh now if you want to do something like a visual novel using scripts like this um can be good in a way but it's gonna be a real fast okay now what if we actually want a you know a text box that has multiple lines okay like uh even with scripts uh you cannot have more than four lines of text okay that's how much a text box by default allows so if you want extra lines what you have to do is you have to add another one of these game message dot add okay and now when you use this you have hello on two lines of course you can write anything you want in between the um, uh, inverted commas and one last point if you want to have inverted commas inside uh, your text okay uh, you would have to um, use this symbol for scaping okay uh, let's say hello sir wait um, okay so it should be something like this now it should be something like this 
we cancel this one and now we should have it appear correctly okay because um, if you don't uh, escape these it will take you only from the first to the second uh, inverted comma okay let's actually let's actually test this to show because people who are beginners with this they might actually have some uh, you know some difficulty understanding certain things so let's actually hit like this and you see you are told that uh, you are missing this okay why we are missing this is because it doesn't understand where your string begins and where your string actually ends okay so um, in order for this to work we need to delete this and this and we actually need to put escaping in here okay so now after argument list um, yeah well as I said if you don't use escaping for these inside uh, text okay you will be met with this error because as you've seen uh, this worked perfectly okay I'm gonna show it one more time okay good so if you want to have four lines of text okay you basically copy this one and paste 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 okay and guess what you now have four lines of text now why I'm saying is if you don't check your text and it will get out you know it will be longer than what can be displayed the point is you'll actually have to cut from the first line and put in the second and then you have to cut from here probably and so on and so forth and it's gonna be quite a mess okay it's gonna be quite some uh, fuss to do okay so when you're doing this and especially if you're doing visual novels like mine which have uh, dozens even hundreds of quotes uh, you're probably gonna be much better if you don't use scripts okay and especially if you want to use colors uh, that's gonna be even greater of a fuss okay now when you use colors it's basically not much of a problem um, colors go very easily it's kind of the same thing um, so it should be slash C uh, let's go for an orange color for this one and then uh, let's turn this one into slash C zero into white again and wait oh yes um wait the reason why this isn't working is because it should be something like uh, this and I think it should be something like this oh wait yes <laughs> the backscape the this <coughs> backslash actually requires another one so that the computer understands that it's specifically this symbol okay it's a bit tricky yes I know it's called scaping you can read about this and now you have the correct color okay you actually have to do this inside of strings okay so uh, as I was saying it can be a bit tricky it's not uh, much of a problem now let's actually copy this and you know uh, if we were to change it in I don't know my style let's say uh, let's give this character a 23 color to be some kind of blue color to match her hair uh, 23 put it back to 23 okay so now let's have this one be uh, yellow 21 um, let's make the uh, inverted comma stand out so let's give it a color red not 18 let's give it a 10 color okay now the inside of sir let's actually put it as um, let's say black okay and now we have um, you know this one in here again to make them uh, red and this one should be turned back into 21 okay so okay and well yes I should have added uh, zero somewhere around 
slash c color zero okay so that the rest are uh, yellow okay so all this being said hopefully this uh, video has been informative um, I've given kind of uh, most of what you would need to achieve you know creating at least simple text boxes basically you know for the face um, and the position and the background there are plugins that allow you much you know much more complex uh, functions but come again this is basically what you should know in case you want to use a few scripts to create uh, simple text boxes okay so all this being said keep up rpg making you are good enough and well you are loved and appreciated here in John Board signing out